2019 Lincoln Nautilus First Look MKX Replacement Gets New Name Evolution of Lincoln Includes New Grill and Dropping of Confusing Names Nautilus is a good name. MKX not so much. So we applaud Lincoln for using the mid-model refresh of their mid-size SUV to change its name to Nautilus for the 2019 model year. And we further applaud the promises that all letters-only names will be phased out. MKC will be short-lived, and MKZ is also on its last legs. Well do it with other products in the future, one at a time, said Robert Parker, head of Lincoln Global Sales and Marketing. A few years from now we won't have letters. For years Lincoln has been criticized for its naming strategy. Even though executives such as Lincoln President Kumar Gelhotra knew there was backlash. He was unprepared for the kudos the brand received when the MKS full-size sedan replacement brought back the Continental name. The name change resonated well in the U.S., but Lincoln's alphabet soup was particularly challenging in China, where Ford started selling the luxury brand a few years ago. Sales have grown from 11,670 in 2015 to 32,588 last year and should reach about 55,000 this year, Galhatra said. We understand how much people like names, Parker said. It hit home when he was on an airport shuttle in Detroit and a couple on the bus were arguing over the correct name of their own Carol Lincoln. I thought maybe there is something to this. It is also easy to abandon MKS, MKX, MKZ, and MKC because there was no normal hierarchy to the letters. And no just because there is now a navigator and a Nautilus, all Lincoln Safas do not have to start with an, Parker confirmed. The days when all Ford brand stuff started with the are gone with the past executives who made those decisions. It was the right time to do it, Parker said. When the 2019 Nautilus goes on sale next spring, it will be new from the Apiller forward and will sport the new grill from the Continental, MKZ, and Navigator. Lincoln's bestseller in the U.S. now has a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster. More open storage such as a flow-through compartment under the center console with a rubber mat adorned in Lincoln logos, a 22-position seat. And the Revel sound system with the choice of 13 or 19 speakers. Overhead is the panoramic sunroof from the Continental. It will also be on future Lincolns. Five of the six wheel options are new, and there are new themes and materials for the high-end black label Nautilus. Although the greenhouse sheet metal remains the same, Lincoln played with the seats, including their height and track, to get more rear seat headroom and legroom. The rear seat folds flat with the press of a button. There is not a 3-row version of the Nautilus, not even for China, where there is a 3-row Ford Edge. Safety technology includes pre-collision assist, blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning, park assist, and lane centering. The new invasive steer assist uses cameras and radar to gauge the potential of re rent collision and apply more aggressive steering to avoid a crash. If the driver does not initiate evasive steering, the Nautilus will apply emergency braking. The Nautilus keeps the 245 horsepower 2.0 liter and 335 horsepower 2.7 liter turbocharged engines but replaces the 6-speed automatic transmission with the new 8-speed Ford developed with General Motors. The all-wheel drive system is applied as needed, which should improve fuel economy, Parker said. The popularity of SUFs continues unabated. The segment continues to steal car sales in the U.S., and Ford estimates SUVs will represent more than 70% of total China sales by 2024. The new Navigator is starting to ship to dealers now. The MKC received a minor update, as well, but now is not the time to change its name, Galhatra said. Promoting a new name takes time and resources, and Lincoln wants to do the vehicles one at a time. We had to make a choice, he said. We didn't want to take on two of them at the same time. We will do the MKC soon.